In this video, we will see how to create an interactive video. You can go to your content bank and choose add and select interactive video or you can create this in Lumi application in your system and then upload to your content bank. So now I am trying to create it in my Lumi. So I opened my Lumi and here I am choosing my interactive video. First I will give a title. Okay. And next we have three steps. One is to add video and then second is interactions. And the third one we can provide a summary task. That's optional. So first I will add a video. You can either upload a video or you can give a source URL of that particular video. Either a YouTube or any other source that your video is hosted. Okay. So now let me upload a video. Okay. So this is the video and the next step is add interactions. What are all the interactions that you can add? Okay, you can add a label, text, table, link, image and uh, various uh, tasks like multiple choice, single choice, true or false, drag and drop, okay, drag words. These are all you know. Okay, But remember uh, you have this more option only in Lumi. This is updated uh, H5P content type. That's why you have this label and also questionnaire and then free text question. You please explore on your own. Okay. And uh, right now what we are trying to do is we'll see how we can add these options. Any of these. Okay. Till here. Okay. Till drag text. So how it appears. Let's see. We'll take one uh, text option. And then this is the editor that we get. So where that exactly appears that interaction. Remember, let me first delete this and tell you that wherever you want to add interaction, first you have to drag your cursor to that place and then click on the interaction option so that that interaction appears at that time code. Or you should know the time code where you want to add the interaction. So click on that. And then see it will automatically takes the time code and then display as before this there is a button for pause the video or let the video and behind run so you can choose either to pause or to run the video and then display as a button or poster button option is like the interaction will be collapsed so you the learner should press that button to see that interaction okay this usually we give when we give extra information to the learner so that it won't disturb him while watching the video or if you want your learner to see that what is that interaction first and then move ahead then you click on this pause video and then give a poster so i just want to give uh, some extra information as a button if the user needs they can click and go so that's why I didn't click on pause video and then I have given a button and label this option what happens is next to that interaction this label will display if you want that you can type here otherwise you can just leave it you can give a title and then text to appear more information okay so and then another option here is go to on click this is also possible okay you can make user to jump to certain time code or you can give another page url i don't want to use this option right now i just want to give some text i'll say done okay this is the interaction you can place it wherever you want on the video okay let me view this how it looks like so i added the interaction here so it will appear exactly at that time code see this is how it displays if it is a button if you want to give it as a poster double click this any interaction and then you land on the edit page and choose the poster and pause the video okay now we'll see we'll view this i'm directly going to that interaction you can see this small white spot here okay this is that the video is paused behind and then it will appear. Okay. Let's go to our edit again. I want to delete this interaction. 
I want to let you know about the other two important options here in interactive video. What you can add is one is crossroads, the other one is navigation hotspot. You can provide hotspots on the video screen so that you can direct your learners to go to that particular section of that video or you can provide some information so that they can click on that and then they can go to external URL or you can use this crossroad option and then create a game like environment and then you can provide an adaptive learning environment also this is also possible how this editor looks like for uh, crossroads is like this this is the same time code and then you can choose whether to pause the video or not and then you can give a, a task and then give choice options you can keep on adding choices and then click on done once you add the interaction, you have to adjust that on your video screen. Okay. And then two more options I want to explain here. One is bookmarks. Okay. What does this bookmarks do is if, for example, there are some sections that you want to add bookmarks and so that your, uh, your user can choose those marks and go there. You can drag your cursor wherever you want to add a bookmark. Click on this and then add a bookmark and then give it a name to that bookmark. One more option here is click to add submit screen at the current point in the video, wherever your cursor is. So what is this submit option is usually what happens in our Moodle site when you add a H5P interactivity like in interactive video, H5P content type as an interactive video, Learners tend to go to the summary page directly so that the activity is marked as complete. But then if you have any questions, graded items inside this interactive video like multiple choice or single choice, fill in the blanks or drag and drop. If you have given any of this, then what happens is at the end, even if they drag to the summary slide, it will give some options to user that hey, you answered these questions, click on submit button, okay. Let's see, for example, here I want to give some uh, true or false, just dummy one I am giving, okay. True or false question, true or false, okay, leave it as, okay, let me adjust this, drag these corners, okay, okay, so now, Let's see, let's view this and uh, let us directly go to this activity. Document export. See, I'm not checking this option. Okay, I said this and it's a wrong one. Directly, I want to jump to my summary screen and then it will ask me whether to you have one uh, answered question, click below to submit your answers. Unless I click on this, okay, the score it displays here, it's zero because it's wrong. So, it has given a zero option. So, unless I click this, the answers won't be submitted. So, it's very useful, the submit screen option when you add graded items to your interactive video. This is about interactive video. Try to create and try to explore new options uh, to, while creating interactive video in Lumi application. All the best.